I saw a post on Reddit the other day which asked, why don't you like John Fish? It's kind of like when you hear two people talking about you and they don't know that you can hear them. And so even though you know that that conversation isn't meant for your ears, you listen in anyways because you have some sort of morbid curiosity. Except instead of two people in this case, it was hundreds. So of course, like any reasonable person, I clicked it and I got to read about why a bunch of people didn't like me. And then as I kind of dove into it more, I realized it wasn't just one post, but there were multiple posts, all that had a bunch of people just talking about why they didn't like me. I can't say that I've ever experienced anything like that before. A lot of the comments said that I was arrogant, pretentious, superficial, a pseudoscientist, wasn't that smart. I mean, you get the picture. I think the criticism has validity to it. I mean, ever since I started on YouTube, I've struggled with the question of identity. I've never felt like I fit into any of the typical creator molds. And as a result, that I've struggled with this identity. I've definitely made some mistakes. I've made some videos and I've been, you know, experimenting with being a person that today I'm not proud of. I've come to realize that I'm not an entertainer. I'm not that funny. I talk kind of awkwardly. I'm not that attractive. I'm not, you know, genius level smart. I'm not a Hollywood level filmmaker. I'm not a crazy entrepreneur. I'm just me. As a result, I don't really fit into any of these molds of creators. I post videos because I'm just trying to figure out who I am and who I want to be. And I know that some people benefit from following along in that process, on that journey. I love the creative process. I love making things, but posting things, I wouldn't do it unless I thought that some people would get some benefit from it. And if people didn't get benefit from it, then I wouldn't post. So when I read criticism of me, I mean, people calling me arrogant, superficial, it scares me a little bit because I see people judging me in the system that I don't want to belong to. I don't want my identity to be a college YouTuber or an influencer or a pseudo academic or, or anything like that. I mean, people who accept those labels kind of box themselves in to, to have to have the appearance of being entertainers, being gorgeous, you know, super smart, whatever. I'm not that, I don't want to do that. I am John Fitch. I'm me. I like myself. I mean, I get to be my own best friend. And yeah, I have no idea who I want to be in the future, what I want to do. I mean, you got to realize I'm only 19. Like everything is up in the air. For me. My identity as a teenager is so ill-defined that of course people are going to think that it's arrogant when I post videos talking about habits that I'm trying out or lessons that I've learned or thoughts that I've been having. I'm not really an authority on anything. What I am is a curious person who just got really lucky in life. I mean, that's it. That's me. And now I'm just trying to do my best to, to do my best. If I don't fit the mold of, you know, a fun, ironic college YouTuber, it's because I'm not one. You know, if I don't fit the mold of a super genius making novel discoveries, it's because I'm not one. I mean, if I don't fit the mold of a self-help guru who has an answer for every question, it's because I'm not one. I'm a 19 year old trying to figure out who I am, who I want to be. And to be honest, I don't have a lot figured out. I have tried a lot of things and I've failed at a lot of things. And I will continue to try a lot of things and I anticipate that I will fail at most of those things. When I think about the past 12 months, how many different faces I've tried on, how many different types of videos I've made, kind of different phases of my life I've gone through. I mean, it's crazy. I've changed a ton. There have been really good experiences and really bad experiences. But no matter what, all of those experiences have shaped me. They've helped me to mature, to grow up. And everything I experience now, good or bad, continues to do the same. So yeah, I've been arrogant. I've been superficial. I've been pseudo-scientific. I mean, all of that hate, it's true. I made a ton of mistakes. I've also helped people. I've been genuine with my struggles and I've made some pretty cool videos. And I promise that I'm gonna continue to do both the good and the bad because I'm a human and I'm a teenager and that's what we do. But we also grow up. And as I've changed over the years, I think it's mostly been for the better. And I still have a long ways to go, like a really long ways to go. But I'm starting to learn that it's not really about the end point because I doubt I'll ever be in a place where I'm fully happy with who I am or where everyone is fully happy with, with who I am. That's just not feasible. What I'm starting to learn is that it's about the journey. The journey counts. And that's why making these videos is so fun because I'm able to kind of figure out where on that journey I am and where I need to go from here. And sure, sometimes I'm gonna make mistakes. Hopefully I can correct them and move forward. And I have confidence that it's all gonna work out in the end. So that's me. 
And if you want to follow along by subscribing and see where I end up, go for it. I really appreciate it. If you don't, no worries. I'm John Fish. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you again soon.